Yeah, I decided to record a third video tonight. And that means my voice will probably pay for it. In all, re in all honesty, normally my voice would hurt after the second one a little bit. But it doesn't hurt at all, and I'm like, well, I <laughs> guess that means I better hurt myself with it. So, uh, I'm gonna keep going. Gonna play Maggie, because Maggie's, I think, the only character we have not yet played. Uh, in, like, in sequence with stuff. So, yeah. Uh, we go to the curse room first thing because uh, Maggie starts with the Yum Heart, which recovers one red heart, and uh, it costs one red heart to go in and out for potential benefits. And I like curse rooms, even though they rarely pay out with like anything significant. Still, took a chance, got three attack flies of the uh, homing and kamikaze variety, and you know it was decent. So want to just drop a bomb or a troll bomb, you know, you know, you will spawn a bomb when you die. No, no, I need you to cooperate. Thanks. And then that's, that's thinking about Isaac intelligently. Luck down. Thanks, Isaac. You've done that to me twice now. First in my, uh, most unfortunate blue baby run that uh, almost turned into the Comeback King last video, and second now. So I would really love to be able to get a key so I could visit either item room since it's an XL floor. Um, both item rooms require keys, even though it's my first floor, which is unfortunate. So like I was saying, two item rooms, one shop, two bosses, one key. Yeah, my voice is starting to feel burn already, but that's okay. This will be, this will be a quick one. Blood rites. Well, I'm not sure if I've picked it up, but I'll just use it over here. Yeah. At the cost of one red heart, it uh, does the Necronomicon effect, damaging every enemy in the room significantly. Mixed it up a little, so I'll take my uh, Yum Heart back. Just had to make sure the blood rites was in my collection. What do we got? Friends to the end, more kamikaze flies. Cool. I like how they wait until I shoot the poop, and then they leave through uh, little areas that they shouldn't be able to squeeze through. It's just a, you know, comical little thing they do. Like, oh, he can't see us, uh, we can't get out. Oh wait, we can get out once they see that I can see them. So, 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 I was going to say, I'm looking for a key, and then I'm looking for an item room. Now I'm looking for a tinted rock. Tinted rocks are uh, among my favorite kinds of rocks. Don't you know. In a non-Canadian kind of way. But don't you know that is. Not the Canadians actually all say that. So I'm getting plenty of pills and none are good. Range up, that's good. Well, it's decent at least. I certainly won't complain about it. Let's go with that. As opposed to, uh, well, no, Friends to the End is actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, what do we got? Telepills to the item room I've already been to. Thanks. Well, thanks for the thought at least. It, it tried. It did its best, and its best wasn't good enough. How sad. Cool, an internal heart. I'll come back for you. It's also why you shoot the fire every time. Like, if you, as I always say, if you don't take the time to shoot the fire, you're playing this game wrong. It's like minimal time out of your experience for potentially great benefits. Two soul hearts, awesome. Second item room, more awesome. Infestation, that seems to be a common item recently as well. Um, when we get hit, we'll spawn kamikaze flies. Cool times. It's a pretty decent item. And to be totes honest, um, pride's being a jerk today. Uh, no, what I was gonna say is to be totes honest, Two of diamonds, yeah, I'll just use that now. Uh, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh well. 
Oh yeah, I could go pick up the Eternal Heart now, and it wouldn't actually be a big deal. It wouldn't be a thang, really. Because I have enough soul hearts that I'm probably going to be able to tank all the damage for the rest of the floor. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play this right. Uh, what, what do we got in this pill? Tears down. That is awful. But we might have found, like, all six pills for this run. There can only be uh, six different pills every run. There are six different pill effects. Sometimes in the shop you'll see a pill of a different color and then it'll change color to one you've already seen or something like that. But, yeah, six different pill effects per run. And we've seen five of them, maybe all six. But uh, Tears Down is certainly very bad. Very, very bad. So let's let's fight to the bosses. See what we got. What we've got. I'm not gonna go on a rant about what or when, you know, that kind of thing. I don't understand it how how that how that makes how people think that, uh, I'm sure it's not actually incorrect, it just bugs me. It's weird. So, we're fighting Larry Jr. That's the moral of the story. By the way, it's only weird to me. I'm sure it's totally normal and some people learned it like that. And it's weird when people say when or whatever. Anyway, Larry Jr. Pretty easy, yet I still took a hit. So, uh, maybe it's a good thing that I didn't pick up that Eternal Heart. But, uh, we're most of the way done already. Just, uh couple more hits and there's that Jesus juice that's an awesome pickup even though it says range and tears up I don't know if it does either it actually m does multiply our damage by one and a half though which uh, I must say is pretty great definitely one of my favorite items and uh, initially in wrath of the lamb it was like if you didn't get it in a run there was something wrong it showed up at least once in pretty much every single run. I don't know if it was bugged then, though, but uh, now it is bugged and I am extremely happy to have it ever. And uh, so this Champion Famine will drop Soul Heart, that's awesome. It will also give us a cube of meat as usual. I was uh, hoping for a chance to deal with the devil there, or an angel room, since it is possible on an XL floor. Uh, anyway, what, what I was saying, cube of meat rotates around us, blocks shots, and damages enemies if they are lucky enough to get enough, close enough to uh, try and eat it or whatever. So we pick up this eternal heart that becomes a health up once I leave the floor, once I enter the next floor basically. Not just basically, realistically, that's what happens. Exactly. So let's see what we got on hopefully the caves, not catacombs. Caves, not catacombs. Wouldn't have minded an XL floor. I like XL floors. Except on basement. Unless I get enough keys, then I like them anyway. And I did get enough keys, so I liked that floor. That was good. I am happy. Alright, so we get the quarter. It's whatever, that's alright. It's like two runs in a row, actually, here. I don't know, I'm getting today's runs mixed up, I've done so many. I haven't actually done that many. Anyway, quarter gives us 25 cents, just like its name would suggest in many, many countries. Maybe not many countries, I don't know, but at least a few countries. So, uh, I mean, it could have been better. But it could have been a lot worse. If I get another key, I will go to the shop, no doubt. And probably fight Greed. Though uh, today, the uh, randomness governing the appearances of Greed have been generous to me today. For these, uh, like all these runs, I fought Greed once and it was like the last shop. Which is like totally fine with me this game wanted to do that all the time I wouldn't I wouldn't hold it against it in fact I would uh, I would go to shops more maybe I don't know I would buy more things that's almost for certain 
So I am going to the shop before I continue with my life of uh, killing bosses, stealing their paychecks, whatever. So I have a lot of range, it seems. Maybe Jesus Juice does work as intended as, well, I don't think it does the tears up. Maybe it does a range up. And if I, if I didn't have soul hearts here, I would love to go to the curse room. But, you know, Binding of Isaac makes fools of us all. So let's see what we got in this here shop. Uh, well, we have a soul heart that I definitely do want. And may as well take this tarot card. Hangman gives us flight for a room. And eh, that could be nice if there's a pickup I want to get to. And chargers are some of my least favorite things. First impression, not my favorite. But, uh, didn't take any damage. I haven't taken damage in a bit in a minute. Whatever. People who say minute, I don't have anything against them. I just think it's odd, and I only recently started hearing it. Like, I knew of the term in in its use that I'm talking about, but you know, I didn't really hear it anywhere, ever. Oh, man. If I had a key, I would totally use a hangman and go uh, pay a visit to that a uh, voluptuous golden chest. But I don't, so why waste my uh, temporary flight? Alright, so Gertie, going poorly, honestly. I've taken a hit. And as I've explained uh, quite recently, whenever he moves his he, it, she, whatever, whenever its head is moved, just do a quarter circle. Even if it is just to spawn enemies, Better to be safe than uh, sorry, because mostly if you just do a quarter circle, you'll be able to dodge all the shots provided you react properly. And I mean, honestly, you could almost do it on a timer. Because like there, I'm not reacting, I'm just doing it. There, I uh, did it too soon, but really, you could almost do this on a timer. Maybe you could. In fact, I think you could. Just sometimes you'd be wrong about dodging which is better than not dodging at all. Of course, Gertie has uh, tons and tons and tons of health. Tons of health, not tons and health. Um, so, this has taken a little while, but we're gonna make it. We took two or three hits there. It was pretty bad. I don't want to talk about it. We get health up. That's great. Give me a deal with the devil now. Because, you know... All this health is uh, burning a hole in my heart, or whatever. In my pocket, my wallet. I don't know where I keep my health in this game. It's just a thing. It's there. Looking pretty. Waiting to get traded to the devil. You know, just like most things in life. Well, that was kind of dark. Maybe I've been doing commentary too much today. Well, I can most certainly play you. You, uh, you like to eat my health, and I have nothing else to do with. Thanks for all the flies. Of course, only five of them will continue with me to the next room. Regardless, they will all just disappear. Who knows where they go? Are you joking right now? Well, what's this pill? The last pill. Health down? That is like the worst thing you could give me. Well, thanks, jerk. I'm leaving for now. come back when you're possibly feeling more generous. Mostly when I have uh, more health to spare. In all honesty. It seems to be something I say. Uh, but a lot, I mean. I say in all honesty. Frequently. But I pretty much gave way more health than I should have been comfortable with. But I don't think it's going to bite me. I think I have enough health overall due to soul hearts and such, and it will be replenishable due to the young heart as well. The devil is uh, most certainly better than the hangman, but I could go back for the hangman if I find a use for it. More likely than not though, I will just stick to the devil. The devil will dumb double my damage in the room I use it. It'll, uh, it's the effect of the Book of Belial. 
So yeah, good times. It's a pretty good item. Tarot card and item. The Book of Belial is very good. Also, just by uh, using it or having it, I'm not sure. One of those increases your chance at a deal with the devil. I don't think that the uh, tarot card shares that effect, but... It's a thing that exists. I hate these walking nubs that shoot the uh, tears at you. Those are just like guaranteed damage almost. Not oh, there it was. There's the damage it owed me. Give me what you owe. Where's my money? Alright, so now I can go back, play the beggar. Twice the devil beggar. Um, but what I want is two keys, because I can afford the shop. I need to go to the item room. Even though one of those would probably be terrible. Let's... Oh, there you go. Oh, Mom's bra, thanks. That's not that useful. That'll freeze every enemy in the room. Allowing us to shoot them and stuff. But, yeah, whatever. Did I take a hit that I was unaware of, or did my fly just not kamikaze when I thought it did? I'm sure you're all uh, answering me right now, and I assure you, I can't hear you. Stop it. Stop it, keepers. You're not following instruction and staying in the play area. Alright, come on. If you're gonna be a jerk, at least allow me to kill you. Well, that sucked. I'm not gonna use this bomb because what if there's a tinted rock? I love tinted rocks. Maggie loves tinted rocks. Everyone loves tinted rocks. They're like the best. Jeez. Okay, golden key. That is pretty much one of the uh, best things I could have asked for right now since I haven't opened either of the shop or the item room or any golden chest. So this is, uh, for once, comes at a good time. It allows me to open all doors and chests that are require keys for that floor. It disappears after that. So we get x-ray vision and uh, x-ray glasses and what that does is it will open up every pathway to secret rooms or top secret rooms. So uh, I can go into a secret room like that, see what lays inside, and you know I'll take Bob's rotten head, why not? But I might just go back to the um heart. In fact, I thought that would work. Well, at least I got some free flies. I wanted to use that to uh, bomb my uh, way across the bridge to that chest. Would have been, you know, nice. But go back to the um heart, because Bob's Rotten Head's not actually that great. So, uh, pretty much, we're going to recover health in a couple rooms back to full, hopefully, but I don't know that I will avoid damage until then. Like there, I did not avoid damage successfully there. Alright, that is enough bombs to go where I want to go. Do what I want to do, see what I want to see. Be who I want to be. Um, I assume those are lyrics to something, but honestly I was just talking out of my, you know. Forgot to go to the shop. I don't know what I'm thinking. So let's go. Candle? I'd like the candle. I always like the candle. No, but we get the ladder. Now we get a soul heart. Let's see what's in the top secret room. Lots of health. So I would love to gamble my life away somewhere, like an arcade or another demon beggar. You know, I'd be uh, totally open trying new things there. Maybe even... No, I won't go to the um, sacrifice room, because that would take off my soul heart first. And, you know, I paid five good cents for that. That room was a jerk. I don't like it very much, but don't tell him that I'm talking about him behind, my, behind his back. Guess we'll go back and buy the ladder. Yes, the ladder. 
because what the ladder will do is allow us to cross uh, gaps that are one wide. Like this, this little hole in the middle. Or any of these from side to side. Yep. Hey, yep. I'd love to also pick up that key in hopes of getting to an item room out yonder. But we shall see. I got the Yum Heart charged, so, uh. Again, that arcade might be nice. Of course, there's a ton of backtracking involved if I want to, uh, gamble my life away. Alright. I was pretty much guaranteed to take damage there. It was a tough situation. Well, since I'm out of Soul Hearts, dead cat, you know, I'm not interested in what you're selling health down, I'm not interested in what you're selling. Uh, if I had... Hey, maybe I'll get a deal with the devil for two guppy items, and then I'll take dead cat. I will certainly do that to become guppy. Because you gotta do that at least once. Almost did a couple episodes ago, but unfortunately, didn't come across the uh, final piece of the puzzle. And there were two options. Just didn't come across either of them. So the husk goes down with me kind of just taking damage almost intentionally, but not intentionally, because I wouldn't like to take damage. Uh, Squeezy will give us tears up, two soul hearts, that's good. Yeah, we're shooting a little faster. Uh, so, yep, abandoning dead cat, most certainly. Don't want to lose all of my health. We've got a likely candidate for an XL floor here. Anyway, yeah, dead cat would take us down to one red heart, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, not not worth it. Unless I became guppy for it. Then it'd be worth it. Okay. Uh, Any time now, Isaac. Any day. Alright, we got the white loading thing. And it was just Necropolis, not even XL, not even any effect. That's cool, too. You know, I'm... I'm into what you're selling? No, I'm not. I'm not into it at all. Get a better product, yo. St Swarmers. Really annoying. Mostly because of the pooters, but also just because of the swarms and swarms of flies and such. Hence why uh, they're called swarmers. So maybe I should say, uh, Swaths or swaths. I think it's with an E, so I think it's swaths. But, you know, whatever. I say you know a lot. But the moral of the story is I'm not totally sure, and I've taken a lot of damage on this room alone. That's That was pretty bad. Six cents is decent. I will go to the curse room now, even though uh, there are better opportunities like later when I can recover my health instead of putting myself at risk now and uh, for no payout so yeah that's pretty much a standard procedure getting nothing when you uh, risk your own life alright these guys are far enough they can't hit me and I can hit them because I've gotten these uh, range up hill things they increased my performance. You should totally try them, man. But isn't that cheating? Nah. Okay, so. Leapers. Leapers is annoying. Leapers are annoying if we're being proper, but uh, I was being intentionally improper. Shoot the fire. Shoot the fire. Always shoot the fire. Especially the red fire, because that one shoots back at you. Alright, we got a key, we got two cents, might be worth it to go to the shop later. But the... it will certainly be worth it to go to the item room, as it always is. I still haven't used this devil card. Mostly because I've forgotten about it, not because I'm like... Ah, but if I use it now, it's like wasting it. There's always a better opportunity. It's kind of like my uh, Tristan from the abridged, the abridged series kind of thing. But it's also not at all. Because that's, that's a bit deeper. That's just my derpy voice. 
while still being serious, I guess I, I have like a derpy high pitched voice or whatever, but no, 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 you get what I'm saying. I'm getting, yeah, let's do it. I hate you. <laughs> this game is such a troll. I got like, I got a chest in a chest in a chest. And that's assuming that there's not a chest in that chest. There's another key in here. I've I've already invested too much of my life into that chest, into those chests. So uh, I have to uh, finish what I've started. And this room proved to be um, far more difficult than planned because I apparently decided that it was uh, okay to take like eight hits when it was really a zero hit room in all in in this reality. I'm, I'm gonna thank the Academy for the keepers just killing themselves on the blue spikes here. Oh god, I might die. Come on, come on. No, you wanna come on to the blue spikes. This is, uh, this is tricky. Okay, and we got a red heart. We, we have a chance to get scapular. Great. Scapular, when we get down to half of a red heart, will give us a soul heart. So yeah, uh, I've kind of uh, dropped off in play quality. Chest increased in size since I left. Yeah, well, screw the shop. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, well, thanks. Can I... I wanted a key and a lot of hearts. I can do this. Well, thanks for the dime. Now I can go to the shop. But I'd like two keys so I can open that chest that I uh, gave away everything for. No! This room I could die. I could die. Masks and hearts, least favorite enemies. Well, some of least favorite enemies and not the uh, continued addition, well, no, continued addition is multiplication, but not the, uh, not the end result of an addition, kind of some, but just they are some of my least favorite enemies, as in they are among the set of the enemies which I dislike greatly. Greed is also one, but only because he steals my shops from me that I, uh, really, I really wanted that shop. I would have been better invested in that chest. Maybe that chest is going to drop fate for me. And I'll never know because I used my only key here. And you didn't give me a key back. Still, Steam Sale will uh, give me half off on every item in every shop. Unfortunately, there's only one shop after shop on this floor. Which was greed. But, in the event I end up keeping enough money to go to the shop next floor. Uh, that means I could buy probably the whole shop. Which could potentially be great, you know. I have plenty of bombs, that's a plus. Haven't come across the top secret room yet, but I haven't explored a whole side of the map. This room sucks. These guys suck. I'm just gonna kick it at long range since I got all this range up may as well make use of it and uh, usually that's the room where it's very easy to take damage but I successfully avoided all of it still haven't been uh, awarded a key for all of my troubles in this game uh, no no hangers you leave me alone take your filthy uh, eternal flies and just just go away get out of my house I don't want you here the ladder is really coming in handy for a from a dodging perspective but I still took like two hits there but we are we are still kicking temporarily take all of my money you can have all of it maybe the top secret room right next to us will be a bunch of red hearts Maybe this will be two of hearts. No, two of diamonds. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I, I, I used to like that song. 
the lovers is most certainly something I would like to use right away. Gives me two red hearts. And uh, I'll just play this for a while. Could give me a trinket, could give me more good tarot cards, could give me a lot of things. Or give me nothing. Could give me a soul heart, or, you know, eight maybe. 24. 24 would be nice. If I were Kane, this would be paying out every time I played it, which would quickly get overcrowded. Soul heart, don't escape me now. Thanks. So right now, well, more than anything, I need damage. Yeah, Steven lives. Maybe you should give me the Steven item. That gives me some damage. Isaac's Fork, when we complete a room, there's like a 25% chance to get uh, half of a red heart recovered. It's decent. Ace of Spades increases the drop rate of tarot cards. May be better, but uh, I'm kind of enjoying holding on to this devil card indefinitely. Uh, so I will only play one more time, but two soul hearts more. That's great. And uh, I stay at seven cents because seven cents is the cost of an item at the shop now. And I uh, get an eternal heart. I'll just take it now. And I'll probably end up losing it, unfortunately. But at least I do have three soul hearts backing me up before I even take the hit that so uh, evilly takes my eternal heart that would become a health up. Were I to play more carefully with it. So, almost back at full health. Let's see, who do we got? The bloat. Oh, God. Well, this is the most opportune moment I can find to use the devil. Bloat is probably definitely the hardest boss in the game. So, what you do with the bloat is you only even bother trying to attack when you can be directly behind him. Because if you get to uh, his left, right, or front, it will shoot lasers at you very quickly. And then they'll hit you and you'll be sad and die. So, it's going to be close as to whether or not I get to keep this eternal heart. Which uh, just leads me to uh, further back up my uh, belief that that choice to pick it up was poor. Okay. Okay. Just die. Just die. Alright, we're gonna make it, as, as it turns out. Sense. Going back to the fortune teller. And now I'll just take the Ace of Spades, because why not? The Ace of Spades. I saw Motorhead live. That was cool. That was my first concert, actually. Motorhead uh, with Testament Z. No, that was different. Uh, Motorhead, Testament, someone else, and Judas Priest. It was pretty cool. Oops, I played more than I meant to. Uh, so we're just going to... Oh, we didn't get to go to that golden chest that I invested my whole life in. Anyway, we're going to go to the shop anyway. Anyway, we're going to go anyway. Is what I just said. You heard me. I want to fight about it. We'll go to the shop anyway, and uh, I mean, I'm sure we're going to end up finding a scent somewhere along the line of this floor. This is also looking to be a long run, I think in that I have such low damage. Damage. Judgment spawns a beggar. Yeah, you can have my money instead. Even though that's the secret room, it probably has like nine cents in it. Treasure map. Okay. If you really want to give it to me, I'll take it. And I'll take the unicorn horn over the uh, yum heart. Finally, something to replace it. Unicorn horn will give us invincibility. And uh, charge with a. Uh, yeah, it'll do this. I don't even know if it's damaging these hearts. Why are hearts in immune to the unicorn horn? That is the worst thing I've ever seen. Stupid, stupid game, I hate you. So uh, now I find myself in a terrible position, but the yum heart would not have uh, helped fix that. Just that this sucks. 
because I hate masks and hearts. God, how much I hate masks and hearts. Look at all the damage I took there. I took like maybe three and a half hearts. I don't know if I still had a soul heart or not. I think I did though. Yeah, well, I need five cents. I need five hearts. Not really five hearts unless they're soul hearts. <sighs> keepers, not keepers. Hangers. Annoying. I think they're called hangers. I've been calling them hangers. And man, their eternal flies are just doing their jobs too well and blocking like every shot I shoot at them. It's like their eternal flies are more efficient than my either pretty flies, halo flies, or cuban meat type deals. And it bugs me. So tarot cards are really good, that's why I went with Ace of Spades. And we get High Priestess, it's an excellent card. Spawns a mom's foot to stomp on enemies and uh, bring them death, let's do it now. Why did you attack the blue spikes instead of the enemies? Well that was an epic waste of my uh, resources. Let's go. Oh, I was gonna say, um, one shot. Uh, key, not key, but one try dollar. Didn't pan out. And, uh, unfortunately I used my cent before my bomb blew up, and I would have had seven cents, which is enough for the shop. But I'm going to the shop, whether you like it or not, game. And now I'm going to the shop, and it'll be fine. And hey, look at that, it's the shop. I'm using bombs not so sparingly here. Yeah, this is a tricky and annoying room because that happens. Alright, let's see. This tar tarot card is the chariot, which is a one-time use of my good friend the unicorn horn here. Let's do the joker. Of course you're Krampus. So, uh, what Krampus will drop is the lump of coal, and the lump of coal will uh, increase our damage over range. And if we uh, have forgotten for some reason, I have incredible range and like to use it. Thanks for the heart. Pump of coal. Watch this as they get bigger as they travel. Yeah. It seems to have an uh, increased effect of gravity, I think. I at least assume gravity is playing a factor with my tears because as they increase in size, it looks like they fall because of that, but... I'm assuming here that my tears would reach the wall from one wall to the other. So I could be totally wrong there. Uh, let's play these down to seven cents in hopes of a key. Burnt Penny is good, but nah, I like Ace of Spades. Soul Heart is another thing that I wanted very much, so uh, thanks for that. It's not what I wanted. That was a fly. You were offering me a key. A key was what I wanted. And a key you shall be. No, that's not a key. And of course, I'm technically kind of wasting my money by playing Fortune Teller Machine. But man, I like soul hearts. Death is decent. Fine, I'll just stick with the chariot. Alright, win, 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 win. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Um, okay, this time, you are my arch nemesis shell game. You're a jerk. You don't let me win the things I want, and now, if even if I won, I wouldn't have enough money to go to the shop and get an item that I want. <sighs> this is atrocious. Watch, I'll win this. No, I didn't. I just can't win today. Yeah, you're pretty great, bro. Pretty great. Like a sewer great, maybe. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's use the chariot. 
That was easy. And Headless Horseman pretty much killed himself by walking into the blue spikes. Let's see what's in the top secret room. Soul Hearts, friends to the end. Okay. And they proceeded to pretty immediately kill themselves on the blue spikes. Blue spikes are annoying. Like, they're just jerks in every possible way. Oh, oh, look, a key. How nice of you, Binding of Isaac. I'm flattered by your kindness. So now give me seven cents. Well, at least we found the item room that I forgot we hadn't found yet. So swarmers will go much faster as well. Because of my increased damage uh, according to range. Which is uh, an excellent side effect because, uh, as I was complaining about earlier, swarmers suck. Unless that was another video and I've once again mixed myself up about those such things. But, uh, I'm oh look, another key. Telepathy for dummies. Great. Telepathy for dummies gives us uh, homing tiers for one room, recharges every two rooms. Sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck, but it's not good. And we'll use... Oh. Gotta get lucky with your uh, guesses on where. The uh, doors will become eyes. So what I value right now would be a candle. But it's a bit late to be picking that up now. So what I'm trying to do is uh, play to my range advantage here, but without walking close enough where one of the walls will toss an arm out at me. And it's going alright, but still my damage output is quite lacking, I'd say, compared to what I'd like it to be. I'm at half health. And I'd say I stand very little chance of making it past the womb. So after I had a pretty large run of great runs, and then I've had about no good runs for maybe two, three videos here. That's unfortunate. But that is probably the main drawback of showing you guys every single run it takes to get me to Platinum God. So we wait, because the game's frozen, as it seems to be uh, want to do, want to be recently, as of late. <sighs> Waiting game it is. Yep, still waiting here. Waiting, waiting. Got that screen. I didn't freeze it again. It was just Curse of Darkness Utero. Not even XL. But if I keep getting rooms like this, I uh, will be at no risk almost at all. Thanks for the money I would have loved to have gotten last floor. Yes, I like Freds. Freds are great. These enemies are called Freds. That was bad damage. That was worse damage. So yeah, I am pretty much walking myself to failure right now. But, uh, still, still trying, still kicking. Oh god, it's Triple Gertie Jr. This is likely to be my death. But should I succeed... A soul heart will be dropped for me. Oh look, scapular activated. Delightful. Okay, well, I hate you, Gertie Jr. You are the bane of my existence. That was a close-in. That was also a close-in. Close one. I'm not... That's not actually what I say. Oh my god. Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. Well, 
It was a valiant effort. Stats are suffering, but I mean, come on, that's still really good. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.